kind of funny to say that snow is what brought all of us together at the first place. My goal with this project was to highlight and showcase free skiing in Quebec. If you ask me why I started free skiing, I guess the answer is probably because of all the influence and the legends that are from Quebec, where I'm from. From the beginning of free skiing to like now, there's been so many different characters and uh, role models to look up to that I think it's easy to be passionate about skiing being from here. of style right there, Charles Gagné. The qualifying runs had the highest score to begin with Alex Belmar out of Quebec, Canada. I feel lucky being from Quebec as a skier because there's so much history in Quebec free skiing that I don't even know where to start. The list of tricks that they invented themselves, the Gagné brothers, is uh, still not even done by many skiers to this day. I mean, Antoine always had a different way of thinking than everyone else. It really came from being a break dancer for him and like just thinking outside the box and like having rhythm in what he does. And yeah, Antoine was the true pioneer of the family. He really thought of all those grinds and tricks you would associate to the, to the Gagne family. He really created most of it. Yeah, Antoine Gagne was basically uh, the Rene Mullen of skin as far as uh, diversity of tricks went. And then Charles took what Antoine taught him of like how to think outside the box and brought his own personality to it and his own trick taste and just a bunch of different tricks in skiing we haven't seen before. Charles Gagne definitely had a big influence on me back then. As soon as I got signed, I started traveling with Charles a bit, or quite a lot actually. He was kind of my travel partner for a bit. And like just skiing with him and whatnot, thing definitely made me grow as a skier. In Quebec, I feel like there's a lot of people that are visionaries, but Vinny is another one of these that's just thinks outside the box, wants to do different rotations, different grabs. I mean, who else have you seen do a double bio 16 genie or something like that? Like. Nobody does that, and still nobody does it besides Vinny, which is kind of sick.
You can tell that Vincent is a pure passionate of free skiing and it's pretty cool to see him following the path of his brother Charles and Antoine. Vinny's approach is, was the same as his brother's, not caring about the trends that were going on. It was fully skiing for yourself and that is very inspiring to people to see that someone is not giving a fuck about what's going on outside of what he wants to do and Vinny kept true to that. Skiing in my life is mainly the main drive still. Although I did uh, find some different passions just to complete myself and be more diversified than I once was just focusing on skiing. Now I have different things that influence me and therefore it keeps me a bit more complete. Phil always been so inspiring to me just with his way of thinking and seeing things, you know, like definitely learn a lot from him. Phil, how to describe Phil as a skier? Uh, Visionary, I'd say. I mean, you look at his parts from like 10 years ago and you're like, holy shit, like nobody still does that. It's so good to see Emil and Jacob carry the torch and just do their thing and them constantly stepping up the game.
my name is Alexi Godbout. I'm from Trauma, Quebec, currently residing in Pemberton, BC. I'm 28 years old and I'm a professional skier. I want to say I probably started around seven years old. First time I saw Philippe Poirier landing switch in the park at Trauma, I just kind of blew my mind. And then, like, from there on, I was like doing moguls, and all I wanted to do is do jumps because I had to be in a program. Alexi Godbo, 21 years of age. Yeah, I definitely had a good ride on the contest scene. I mean, I was with all my friends traveling all the time and having a good time partying and doing contests, and it was good. Um, I definitely, it was ups and downs. I've gone through a lot of injuries, so I, I thought I'd be like competing forever, but now I'm doing other things, and I didn't think it was gonna bring me that far, at least, or to get that many experiences, like trips to Alaska and like huge missions in the backcountry. Like, I don't think eight years ago when I was still competing, I thought I would still be, like I'd be doing this right now. Lexi's a great skier, has a, I mean, he knows how to ski. He can carve and, you know, he looks good doing it. And he's got huge balls too, because he's sending it out there. Only took him a couple of years to figure it all out. His move to Whistler was so bright because it gave him a platform to express himself. I feel like he, he's reached exactly where he's trying to be and who he wants to be, and uh, it showcases in his skiing right now. Yeah, ABM, I feel like, carries the soul of what the ancestors built, and he is doing it very well as far as completing street skiing, slope style skiing, big air jumping. He's got it all, and he's definitely the pinnacle of what a free skier should be right now. And from a land where it's not necessarily easy to be all of that. ABM is a 40 on his left hand side. He's going to look over his right shoulder from Quebec City, where it is far from warm. But he's also a real master. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> so much spinning already up top on that first box feature. He is. So good at rails. Growing up in Quebec where the jumps may not be as big, these guys get so good on the rails. Switch right side, double cork nine. Here's where we see that awesome double bio 1260. So getting the mute crap. Will we see the triple at the bottom? Two, three, six. Dobbs and switch triple cork 1260. Full pull run. Tons of technicality. Tons of stomping. 92.66 ABM, our top qualifier, and now top of the charts. Just like ABM, for example, like, I mean, he's done different grabs and different rotations than most people. He's also another one that thinks outside the box, and I think it's red to see. And also that he's from Quebec, so holding it down for the boys. This is Alex Top three position, break up that All American podium. Going right side, triple. I have never seen him do that.
Je vais lui donner 5 derniers try, le bain concentré. Là. Minus 30, <rire> freezing cold. I don't think I will ever let skiing go. Like every year I tell myself that it's probably the last, but every year I find myself doing this stuff all over again, you know, so. It's so inspiring that JF is back at it because he's had some crucial injuries that could have pushed him out of the game. Still, he kept it true to his passion and that's really inspiring and uplifting for the community of skiing in a whole. Groundbreaking for me, I realized that street skiing was a thing. It was because of Schematic. That's when he really crushed and changed the game. So I was like, damn, you can be a street skier and be invited at X Games. His last name rhymes with cool, GF Cool. I mean, you can't take skiing out of someone when it's someone's life, someone's passion. How, how many injuries he got, he won't stop, you know? It's, it's part of him. He's a hard worker and he's really damn good at it.
ski until my body cannot, but uh, skiing will definitely be part of my life forever. Skiing is the most important thing in my life. There's, it's the one thing I think about the most, the one thing I want to progress the most, and all I want to do in life is to be remembered as a skier, so I'll keep doing that as long as I can and keep progressing till I can't progress no more. Definitely one day, like, I won't be able to, like, go super fast down big mountain faces or whatever, but I think if I can ski forever or as long as I can and find that feeling again, I mean, that's really all that matters.